I'm really excited about this week. I can't wait to dive in. We're just gonna be doing a lot of self-care this week. So I hope you're into it. I have a list. So let me not just sit here and try to think of ways to say the list. Let's just go down the list. That way I can keep my intro short because God, I'm really bad at rambling. The first one is one that I've already done. A lot of these I already do. Good sleep. I take a cortisol manager to help me with my sleep. I do notice sometimes, and I can't tell if it's from this, that my periods get a little thrown off when I take any sort of sleep aid. Cortisol manager does help me sleep and it's a magnesium and magnolia supplement. So just going to bed at a decent time, turning off all your electronics, turning the lights down. Deep breathing is a big one. I'm really bad at that actually. I wish I had a, like a setting on my Apple watch that reminded me to deep breathe every hour because I don't feel like I do it enough. A lot of times I'm going, oh, have I been breathing? <laughs> so in through the nose and out through the mouth and just having some time doing that from time to time. Meditation is on here as well. I do meditate, I get my little crystals out, I hold them in my hands. I'll sit down on the floor or I'll lay down if I need to and I'll open the windows because I love a cool breeze when I'm meditating. Sometimes I'll put on music, sometimes I need silence. It's just a good way to slow down and process things because I feel like a lot of times there's a dam and then there's all of my thoughts and they're just rushing like water up to the dam. And I need to organize these thoughts before I feel this overwhelming sensation of just ultimate stress. So if I can just get this to calm down a little bit, massage is on here. I would love to go get a massage. I might call around and find some places. Cold plunging is on here. I know some people take cold showers every now and then. I don't think that I can do that. I need my shower to be so hot, it hurts. I know that's probably not good for me. I don't know that I can do a cold shower, but there's a place here. It's called Grit City, Grit City Wellness, and they do this cryotherapy thing. Forest bathing is one, so just going into the forest and really taking it all in and just smelling the smells, enjoying nature. Uh, the Pacific Northwest is just so healing, just the forest in general. So I know that forest bathing is something that will help me feel good. Possibly maybe my husband will come with me because I don't go into the forest alone. I just don't. I listen to too much true crime. Omegas is on here. So I have a grocery order we're about to go pick up and I'm gonna go get some stuff to make these breakfast bars. I really enjoyed having the pumpkin last week as just a quick morning snack with my coffee. And so I looked up some healthy, like breakfast bar recipes and I found one that looks really good so I got all of the ingredients for that and I have flaxseed which is really high in omegas and I'm just gonna load it with flax. Epsom salt baths are really good for just soaking and relaxing and detoxifying so I definitely want to do a little Epsom bath. I like to also throw in lush bath bombs because I like the smell of them. And that is another one is smells. Smells was on my list because when I was looking up different ways to just do like really good, like body cleansing, mental health, it said that smells are such a sensory connector to just our overall well being. If you actually use that as a tool to make yourself feel good, Every morning, I usually wake up and spritz a little bit of these. They're not perfumes, they're not heavy duty perfumes. And I spritz those on because they have a memory attached to them that make me really happy. And I usually will spray those on myself in the morning. I mean, I did it this morning. I sprayed a little bit of that on. And I also have my diffuser in my office. So I turn that on, it has water and essential oils and it aerates it through that little machine. And I will put whatever essential oil I'm in the mood for. So there's eucalyptus, peppermint, and orange. It just, you know, relaxes me. And another one is matcha or green tea, which I've never tried matcha before. I know, shocker, <laughs> but I've never tried matcha. I already know that green tea is good, so I'll definitely just try to remember to implement some green tea in the evenings. So those are all the things on my list. I just wanted to share my little wellness tips here. <laughs> I'm trying not to overuse that word though. Can you see this? I'm at this place called Marlene's. It's a like deli market type place that I found. I'm searching for a caterer for the nonprofit that I work for. They're having an event and I'm planning it, <laughs> which is actually really fun. I've had to do one of those big checks, you know, those like big publishers clearing house style checks. I, I designed 
three of those, which was really fun. My job is to go here and try one of their sandwiches so that I can make sure that the catering is gonna be what we're looking for. And then I need to place the order or at least let them know that we're gonna be placing the order. So I'm gonna go do that. It's a cute little deli and um, yeah. Marlene's was a success. It was actually a really nice, it was one of those health food type stores where everything smelled like the soap section at Whole Foods. <laughs> so I got matcha. It's good. My friend said it's like dirt food. I know exactly what you mean. Beets is like dirt food and I love beet juice. So this is right up my alley. Cool. Well, um, the Goodwill is across the street, but I do want to just go in and look. So if I find like one thing, I'm that's fine. But I'm going to do just a really quick peruse purely to kill time before my grocery pickup order will be ready in about 30 minutes. I don't know how to open my trunk with my car on. Let me show you what I got at the freaking Goodwill. Oh my God. This is a suit set, but it's like loungewear style. But oh my gosh, <laughs> this thing is amazing. It's, it's so good. I love, I just love stuff like this to lounge around in. I love it so much. not completely cooled off but I really want to try it. It's really healthy tasting but it's also really good. The pumpkin and the chocolate. It tastes like a granola bar. Mmm, it's good. I just took the longest bath of my entire life. <laughs> it felt so good. It was like the perfect temperature. So I put so much Epsom salt and then with that bath bomb, it was like floating inside of a spa. <laughs> it felt very spa-like. But I'm gonna do just quick skincare. I actually don't have that big of a skincare routine. I just exfoliated and washed my face while I was in there. And also this is the pharmacy honey grail ultra hydrating face oil. I have been in love with this stuff lately. It's so amazing. And then I got this in my Ipsy, the cocoa kind. I didn't get to try it on camera because I had on makeup at the time, but I tell you what, you just get like that much on your hand. So I just like dip my finger in it. It's almost like a mud, but as you start to massage it in, it's so good. It's so good. It is definitely my new favorite moisturizer. I love it. I wish this little hole would go away. I have been doing everything, but it's a hole in my face that I have been, I've been to estheticians. I've been getting my, I've gone to get that like electro facial. And they said that the only way that I would be able to like close the hole is with a laser. It's just annoying. It's just, it's like one of those things. And then I'm going to do the Pure Forever Soft Rejuvenating Lip Treatment. And I do all of this every single night. And I do have an eye cream as well downstairs. I forgot, but I do these things and then I have my neck cream next to the bed. I'll do that right before bed. I just kind of massage that into my neck and then um, I was thinking about doing an eye mask tonight. What else? Anything else I can think of to tell you? I listen to spa apple music. This whole thing I need to add it to my library because it was the most perfect most perfect thing to listen to in a bath with the candle lit and the lights low. I was in the ultimate zen bath. It was so nice. And one of the songs sounded like wind chimes and flutes. And I was picturing myself out in a cabin in the Pacific Northwest, surrounded in ferns, close your eyes, close your eyes, surrounded in ferns, this like bamboo chime on the porch, the wind blowing and it's raining lightly. And the, are you listening? Close your eyes. And the bamboo is 
flickering around making that cool little sound and we've got the fire going and we're just listening to the light pitter patter of the rain on the ferns and there's like a foggy mist rolling through and I'm like sitting on a yoga mat on the porch meditating <laughs> did I take you there this might be my new thing I'm just going to do vlogs where I explain scenarios and <laughs> play music. All right, I'm done. See, I can't do it because I've got a whistly nose. Instantly, not relaxing. I'm going to go get dressed. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to enjoy my evening. I'll see you in the morning. For some reason, I felt so inclined to crimp my hair, which I don't think I've ever done it when it's just my natural hair. I usually only do this when I have my extensions because then it looks really full and pretty. But this is just my hair, which is a little bit more like flat and thin, <laughs> but it still actually kind of looks cute. And uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on me. Look at my skin here in natural light. I just wanted to show you. And then I'll, we'll get going, I promise. But look, that's just me. That's my skin and that's okay. And that's my under eye bags and that's okay too. I'm accepting it. <laughs> I think I look really nice, actually. And my brows, they're not bad. I'm actually feeling myself today. Natural Sienna, looking, looking, looking like herself. the Sephora little baggie and this is the what I got this is the YSL new bare look tint skincare makeup hybrid this is right up my alley this is exactly what I'm looking for not quite makeup more than skincare the benefits from both worlds I'm really excited to try this with botanicals from YSL Beauty Orica community gardens in Morocco I worked for them and I still can't say it correctly. <laughs> I'm loving the little tube. But the thing is, is at first when I tried it in the store, because I did go try the tester to see if I matched myself. And I got nervous at first because it looked really yellow. And I mean, that's kind of YSL's thing. Like I felt like all of their foundations kind of went on a little yellow. But if you're trying to counteract red and it's just a tinted moisturizer that's going to absorb into the skin, that's not really a bad thing. So excited to have a skincare product that has a little bit of color. I got light 2.3 Madeline in the NARS cream based concealer and I like cream based more. I'm out of my Marc Jacobs stick and that was my favorite concealer because Marc Jacobs no longer makes accessible makeup. That was my favorite concealer because I can use it to cut in a little like brow line. You know, if I want to really sharpen that line, use it to clean up a wing. I can, it was like my eraser. And then I just realized maybe I'm just a cream based concealer girl in general. So we've got a little pot here. And I just love this idea of just going like that. There's a good match. Oh, thank goodness, Sienna, you did good, kid. This is amazing. This is exactly what I was going for. I just love, I'm so excited about having my concealer in a little pot now. What concealer am I even using at the moment? Oh yeah, I have the Anastasia one that came in my Ipsy. Success at Sephora. I'm really happy with it. So tomorrow we will full blown do like a all natural, healthy skin take care of your skin makeup. But I just wanted to say like, this is not a video like telling you anything about how you should do your own self care. And that was something that this little podcast was saying was like, she was even aware of it and said, I know it's everywhere you turn and people, all these people like shoving all of this stuff in your face, self care and blah, blah, blah. And it's just kind of such a marketing thing now. And it's more about like taking bits of what you need to feel good for yourself. So it's, it's more about that for me. Oh no, they lost their car. Oh, <laughs> click the clicker. I'm gonna leave. It's becoming very busy in this parking lot. I am back and I was thinking this would be a perfect time to make chickpea salad because I need some lunch. <laughs> Bye.
my little herb trough outside does still have some green leaves on it left and I'm thinking I'm gonna just go ahead and use them now in the salad. Ah, see? I have some cilantro and some basil. So we're gonna use those. Look at that. That looks so freaking good. That is so good. I am no chef. I am not trying to say it, but we all eat, okay? The tattooed Martha Stewart. That's my goal, is to be like all encompassing. <laughs> what is going on? And why do I look like Janice from <laughs> Mean Girls? <laughs> look at this hair. It's because I crimped it yesterday and then now I'm just like trying to figure out what to do with it on day two, like bedhead hair. I just wanted to put a little bit of something on so it's perfect that I have this new tinted moisturizer. Let's get into this. Here is the packaging for it. Yes, YSL is a little bit on the bougie side. Kind of into that. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> then there's Neutrogena. Love it though. It's such a good tinted moisturizer. So far texture wise, it feels like a moisturizer. It's definitely uh, evened my skin out. It would almost be interesting to do one on one side and one on the other. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And then the thing I love about this little concealer is that I really wanted to just tap it into the places I needed it. Obviously you can use a brush for this as well. I just want it to like quickly apply into all of the crevices that I'm concerned about, which is usually my under eye, above my eye, down my nose into these little spots on around my nose where I get really red chin. I stopped using that brow tint stuff. So I feel like for the effort for how long it took me to have it like set on my face that I just was washing my face a lot and it was coming off. I'll have to try it again. All right, I'm gonna let that glue just set and dry. And so now I'm just taking some of the NARS at Laguna. It's kind of like a contour bronzer combined. Now I'm gonna go with the Winky Lux. Once you start adding the bronzer and the blush and the concealer, I think the blush is what really gives it the life that it needed, but it just really pulls it all together. And now you look like you've put in some effort, but like you're wearing moisturizer that's like a skincare magic extension mascara. It has fibers in it, so it helps lengthen. And I'm taking a break from false slash extensions and I'm trying to be naturally beautiful here people that is the goal my go-to now I'm so glad I bought this it's the best it's exactly what I'm looking for I knew I'd wear it like every day Chanel tinted moisturizers are just the blush of color if you need it we're gonna use the Ciate Starburst glow to highlighter I really like Ciate as a brand just think the packaging is pretty their products are really pretty. I feel like I look cute to hang out around the day. I can run out to the store. I can go for a dog walk. Whatever it is, this is going to be like probably my everyday go-to little routine up here. Just because you're doing something fun like a graphic liner on your eye doesn't mean you have to wear the fullest full coverage foundation. Okay, I have work to do, so I don't know when I'll see you next. Look at me, oh my God. So what I did last night is put, I put a bunch of jojoba oil in my hair and that's why it looks like this. <laughs> I finally have like length and I wanna really nurture this hair so that way I can just continue to have length. But this is a matcha magic smoothing hair treatment. So we're doing matcha on my head as well. And it's by Pamelo and Company. I got this in an Ipsy and it is a 10 minute mask. This has coconut, olive, jojoba, which I've already done, castor seed, green tea, hemp, seaweed, turmeric, sunflower. It has a whole bunch of oils in it essentially. And it tells you to put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes before using it. Just to put it in the ends of the hair. Mmm, that has such a lovely texture. I like that. So I made a appointment for my husband and I to do a couple's infrared sauna session. He has no choice. And I'm just kidding. I texted him and I said, I actually was just inquiring and then I hit the button thinking I was going to the next screen to just look at my possible purchase and think about it and back back out and just check with him first to make sure he wants to go. And it said, thank you for booking. <laughs> 
amazing. I've got work to do and things to do, but I will report back later once I've taken it out and styled my hair in some way. Hopefully I can avoid my face because I just did my makeup and I don't want to have to do it again and that's YSL. It's my new favorite. I like it way better than the Neutrogena. It goes on so nice. It's so smooth. It feels so good on the skin. 10 out of 10 my favorite uh, tinted moisturizer I've ever used ever. But at least there's a affordable option if for some reason maybe things are tight that month and I just need a BB cream and I know that I can use Neutrogena's. They ship it off Amazon. I'll link that below as well as the YSL one so you have both. Look at that hair. I think it's happy. Oh, this is great. I think we're getting somewhere. I really just want it to be shiny and happy and healthy. And I think I can accomplish that if I really just stop damaging it. <laughs> Somebody yank that bleach out of my hand the next time you see me going to Sally's Beauty Supply and buying it. Even though I've been able to do a pretty good job of maintaining my roots, I basically skip bleaching every other. So I'll bleach and tone, skip, just tone, bleach and tone, skip. Anyway, so that's for another vlog. <laughs> so that's it for right now. I just wanted to show you my healthy hair and I'm gonna go run some errands and go for a dog walk. take your phone in. I could probably take my camera for a second. Look at this. Oh wow. And then it has like a little touch screen. Oh this is gonna be nice. There's a mirror. They have like towels. I love this lighting. And then the cryotherapy chamber is like a room over from this. But we will not be doing that today. Maybe next time. with the timer on um, the sauna and so she gave us 10 more minutes and she's gonna come check it out when we're done but I actually got out because I was a little hot and he doesn't feel anything for some reason he's like it's not even hot I'm like sweating <laughs> but what I just showed was the I think it's the sound I forget what that thing is. I'll like put the name of it here. It's really cool, that pod. And then in the room over is the cryotherapy refrigerator. And there's like a little refrigerator you get in to get acclimated. And then you go in the hardcore one. And it's really cool. I would like to try it. It looks a little bit intimidating, but it's really cool. And this is really nice. I've been enjoying it. I put on some like relaxing music. And now I'm just waiting for him. He's he's enjoying it. So <laughs> I liked it, but I'm hot. I'm done. Going to gather to get some juices and some smoothies. <laughs> Hi. I just realized there's no ending to this video because I was just editing it. And I think the last thing I filmed was going to gather, which I actually still have some of the beet juice and I'm finishing it right now. Don't think that we were all Mr. and Mrs. Healthy yesterday. We definitely went and had cheeseburgers for lunch. <laughs> so we went to the sauna, had the most amazing healthy breakfast with like juices and smoothies. And then we're like, I'm craving a cheeseburger. I actually regret it to be fair. We had fun. The sauna was really nice and it was really relaxing. I definitely would like to go back for cryotherapy and I'm just glad we went to Grit City Wellness because it's been on my list for so long. I've been lurking on Instagram following them for such a long time. They offer so many great services. 
just like different things that you can do. It's it's a gym as well. So you can go to work out, you could go to the sauna, you can go to the cryotherapy, you could go to the meditation chamber. That's what that little globe thing was in the beginning. It's like a guided meditation. You can sit under it and then it like talks you through a meditation. They also have chairs that you can go sit and they have compression therapy. So these like really crazy contraptions get attached to your various limbs and like compress and help with your circulation. You sit in this big leather chair it looks like a grandpa like lounge chair i actually am afraid to tell too many people about this place because i don't want to not be able to get into the sauna whenever i want <laughs> that would really suck they had uh, a whole station set up for b12 shots and they do it every month so every month once a month on a saturday they come and do B12 and I was this close to getting it done but we hadn't eaten anything yet and I was afraid to do it because the last time I got a shot I passed out so <laughs> I was like nah probably not this time but next time and I got their flyer in case I forget and I should put it down on my calendar actually which is what I'm doing today today is like office day I'm up here I've got things to check up on on my emails. I've got things to write down on my calendar. I've got some week planning to do. There's some stuff coming up this week that I'm going to talk about with you guys. So really today is just me ending the vlog to only pick it back up and start it all over again. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. But I'm going to finish my beet juice. I had a really great time with you guys. I hope maybe it inspires some ideas in your life for anything that you can do to make yourself feel healthier and happier. This is just all I'm focusing on right now. I'm on my own journey of feeling really good. And so naturally that's going to be something I'm going to want to talk about in my video. So hopefully you're here for that. Mental health, obviously, anxiety, all that stuff that I am working on. <sighs> We are turning over a new leaf and this sienna is a lot more raw, a lot more uh, exposed to the elements because I don't have a martini to fall back on and it's tough, man. I tell you what, sobriety is not for the faint of heart. I, was, I said that to my therapist today, actually this morning. If you're somebody who can go through life without alcohol as a crutch, you are the strongest person I know. I will get, I will do not let me get emotional. I'm about to cry. It's not easy. And so you're a tough cookie if you can do it. And I applaud anybody who tries. Actually, when I said it to my therapist, she went, well, that's you. So you're, you're the strong person that you're talking about. And I was like, I am. <laughs> like I, so many times I get teary eyed. I haven't cried with her yet. I haven't cried with her yet. I've gotten close and I've talked about stuff and gotten choked up, but I haven't cried yet because I'm really avoiding crying because once I think it starts and the floodgates open, it's gonna be really hard for me to shut it off. So I've been like, don't cry. So I've been tough. I've been really tough. And um, I'm, I'm definitely a crier. So <laughs> just waiting for that day to come. I thought I would share that with you guys though. If you're somebody who's sober, have just started sobriety, are new on the sobriety journey, I get so emotional talking about it because I'm so proud of people when they do it because it's so hard because I know how hard it is and it's the toughest badass thing you can do and people think that like being a drinker is the rebellious thing. No, no, no. I've learned the rebellious thing in life is to choose to be somebody who advocates for your own mental health and chooses to be good to your body and be healthy. And I, I'm not saying if... Okay, you guys, you always know that I'm only referring to heavy drinking and people who have, you know, in the past abused alcohol. I'm not talking about anybody who has like a beer here and there, you know, and that's up to someone else to decide. I'm not here to judge that. People who are sober are on a very big learning journey. I am preaching. I did not mean to preach. Sienna, don't edit that out. I know you. You're going to want to edit that out to keep it short. I always try to keep my videos under 30 minutes. So I probably just made it over by doing that little talk, but... Anyway, I'm done. I am officially done. I'm gonna let this back brace make me sit up and do what it's supposed to be doing. Get to editing this video. Give it a thumbs up if you'd like. Thank you so much for all the comments last week. Thank you so much, you guys. I got like teary-eyed when I read most of them. Thinking about it getting teary-eyed right now. Thank you for sharing with me and I'll share with you anything that I can, especially if you guys tell me that it's helping. Did not know I was gonna get emotional at this ending. <laughs> anyway, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that crap. I'll see you guys next week.